Hey everyone, Caroline Roberts here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about five signs that this person is either a counterfeit or a godsend. So if you're interested in watching this video, then definitely stay tuned. Alright guys, so welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're talking about a counterfeit versus a godsend. And I thought this video was so important to make. I've never actually made a video before on this topic. But looking back at my life, I know I have had my share of counterfeits. And in those situations, it was hard to know or distinguish, like, is this person really sent from God? Or is this person sent from the enemy? Is this person a distraction? Does this person have good intentions for my life? And even if the person does have good intentions, it's like, is this person supposed to be in my life? And I wanted to make a video about it because I've walked through this and there's a lot of things that I didn't see in that situation until now that I look back in retrospect, I'm like, wow, all the signs were there, but I wasn't able to discern it at that time. And just maturing through life and watching my friends and other people that I know walking through similar situations, I was like, okay, this is a thing. And you know, this is something that is important to be addressed. And if you find yourself in a counterfeit situation, that is not God's best for you. God has a specific plan and a purpose for your life. And I want us all to grow sensitive and better at hearing his voice so that we can be led by him so that his ultimate will can be done for our lives. So that is what this video is about. And I'm just going to hop right in to the point number one. So my first point to be able to discern, is this a godsend or is this a counterfeit, is having an understanding of the difference between settling and compromise. A lot of times we get these two terms confused interchangeably, but settling is different than compromise. You can compromise with someone without having to settle, right? When you are settling, that means you are lowering your standards to settle into what someone else, what their standards are. When you are settling, that could even mean you're just throwing your standards, you're throwing your values, you're throwing what God has placed within you. That could even mean you know your desires, your goals, you're throwing that out the window to appease this person. That is settling. On the other hand, there is compromise and people get them confused. Compromise doesn't mean I'm throwing everything out the window. It doesn't mean that I'm, you know, just lowering to your standard. Compromise means that we both meet in the middle. So settling is like this person is here and I'm like, okay, throw it out the window because I want it to work or I'm going to come to where you're at because I want it to work. Compromise is Let's work together and meet in the middle so that we are both satisfied with the result. And, you know, it's a give and take. When you're settling, it's like you're taking and you're just giving all of you and you feel like this person is taking and you're just giving all that you want to give to make it work. It doesn't take all that. God's plan for you is for you. What God has for you, the God sent relationship, the God sent husband, the God sent wife, the God sent friendship that God has for you. He's going to send you someone who's going to pour into you just as much as you pour back into them. It's a give and take. It's an exchange. It's not something where you're just giving all of yourself to make it work. Because if you're giving all of yourself to make it work, that means that God is not the center of that relationship, right? God is supposed to work in your relationship and you guys work together and partner together and, you know, show things like the fruit of the spirit, patience, kindness, love. If there's not two sides of the spectrum, then it's not a true relationship and it could very well be a counterfeit. So ask yourself, what are certain things that I said I would never, you know, settle on that are important to me? So why am I now settling now that I'm in this relationship? Because I want to be, is it because I want to be in this relationship so, so bad and I don't want to be single because, you know, I'm tired of being the bridesmaid. I'm tired of being single. Everyone else is getting married. So I'm just going to settle on this because I don't believe that God will really give me my heart's desire. And it's an area where we need to grow in because it's a lack of trust in God. 
So that is the first thing. Ask yourself, compromise is okay. You can have a God sent relationship that will require compromise because you know, a relationship takes patience. A relationship takes love. It takes two humans working together to make it work, but settling Now that's a different situation. Ask yourself deep in your heart, do you feel like you are settling and not being authentic, right? Not being authentic to who you truly are, who God has created you to be and what you know that God has for you. All right, so that's the first step. That's the first sign. The second one is, are you able to recognize a pattern? And I was able to recognize patterns from my past relationships. And these patterns that you recognize may be, you know, different for you. Maybe you have a pattern of going for the same type of looking person and you always go for that type of person. I noticed a pattern that I didn't purposely go for, but I realized it was a pattern. My exes have the similar names to my current husband. One of my exes has had the same first and last name as my husband. And another one of my exes has the same initials as my husband. And I just noticed it recently. I was like, wow, the enemy was sending counterfeits of what looked like God's will, but it wasn't God's will. And we know, I believe that God has placed his will within us. Our spirit, deep down inside, we know God's will. He's placed it in us. So you may have an idea of the type of person you're supposed to marry or who your husband is going to be or your wife is going to be. God has placed those desires in you. So because he placed those desires in you, you may have an idea of what you're attracted to or what God's plans are for you in the future. And the enemy may recognize what is she attracted to? What is she drawn to? And he'll throw that out at you. And it may be a reflection of what God has planned for you in the future, but it's a counterfeit when it's in a toxic situation. It's in a toxic environment. Then it's not God. Though my exes from the past, some of them may have had glimpses or highlights of who my husband ended up to be that were positive, There were negative situations there that were toxic that I wasn't supposed to be in. One of the relationships was mentally and verbally abusive. That's not God's will for me. That's not God's best for me. My husband encourages me. He builds me up. He speaks the word of God over my life. That is God's plan for me. That is my God sent. Another one of my exes, he didn't value. He wasn't faithful to the relationship, right? He cheated. That was a counterfeit. That wasn't God's plan for me, right? God's plan for me was to have a husband who is faithful. And that's exactly what my husband is. You'll be able to see certain patterns and the enemy will pick up on those patterns and he'll learn you and study you and see what you like or see what you're attracted to. And some of those patterns may reflect actually some of the qualities your husband may have in the future, but you really have to pay attention to those red flags, those toxic red flags. I have tons of videos on my channel about red flags in relationships. So if you want to know what some of those red flags are, after you watch this video, definitely check those out. But really pay attention to those patterns. That is another way that you can identify. Is this a counterfeit or is this a godsend? The third sign of whether or not this is a counterfeit or a godsend is if this person is not sold on you. The person doesn't really like you. They're not really showing interest. Stop trying to force it. Stop trying to make it work. Maybe you're thinking in your head, God told me this was gonna be my husband. God told me this was gonna be my wife. I had this dream or I had this vision or this prophet prophesied over me. But that person ain't checking for you. That person ended up you know, being engaged to someone else. This person may be representative of what God has for you. Maybe God is going to give you a man of God like that. Maybe God is going to give you someone with similar qualities, but it's not that specific person because they also have it to be in agreement with God's will. They also have to be obedient to the word of God because if they're sent by God, God will send them looking for you. If they're not looking for you, then it's a counterfeit or it's a distraction by the enemy. The fourth sign of whether this relationship is a counterfeit or a godsend is you want to ask yourself, does this relationship pull me closer to God 
or does it pull me away from God? Does this relationship distract me from what God has called me to do or does it push me and encourage me to do what God has called me to do? Does this relationship push me to worship and praise God more or does this relationship cause me to idolize this person, cause me to idolize the relationship where they're all I think about and God goes out the window? What direction is this relationship moving you in? Because a God sent relationship, God is not going to send you anybody who's going to pull you away from him. God is not going to send you anyone who's going to pull you away from the will and plan that he has for your life. And when I look back at my past relationships, they were an idol. So in that sense, they were pulling me away from God. So a lot of times when the enemy sends a counterfeit, he's sending you a counterfeit so that you can be distracted from your relationship with God and start obsessing over this person, over this idea of marriage, especially in a lot of those situations where Maybe you thought this was your husband and you're so consumed with this idea and you're so consumed in, is this going to happen? Is this going to come to pass? Now it's an idol in your life. You talk about that more than you even talk about God and it was a counterfeit sent to distract you. And then the fifth sign of whether or not this is a counterfeit or a God sent is very simple. Are you unequally yoked? The Bible says, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Does this person believe what you believe? Do they have a relationship with God? Do they support your walk of faith? Are they walking in faith? Do they have their own walk of faith? Or is this someone who you're dragging to church? Do they have their own church family? Do they have their own spiritual foundation? The Bible says, two can't walk together unless they be agreed. In the past, I had an ex-boyfriend who said he believed in God, but he never went to church. He was always smoking weed, always cussing. And it had an impact on me because, you know, he would be cussing. He was a rapper and he would have me listen to his music and I would be cussing. I couldn't stay in that relationship. For me to get saved and move to God, I had to let go of that. I had to let go of my past. And I can't imagine getting saved and still being in that situation, still being in that relationship with him, right? I believed in God, but I wasn't going to church. I wasn't reading the Bible. I wasn't walking in God. So maybe we were equally yoked at that time, but he couldn't walk into the future with me because where God was taking me in the next season of my life with getting saved and just fully focusing on him and focusing on my word and getting plugged into a church community, I had to be alone with God. So you have to be with someone who is going to push you closer to God, who is going to walk with you, who's going to happily attend church with you, that you're not dragging to church, who you can have conversations about the Bible, who have the same understanding of what the gospel is. Jesus is not a prophet. Jesus is the son of God. Jesus is the savior of the world. Jesus is the truth, the way and the life, the only way to the father. Okay. So those are five things you want to look at, five areas you want to look at and ask yourself, you know, go down the list and ask yourself, are these signs of a God sent relationship or are these signs of a counterfeit relationship? All right. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that it was a blessing. I really did it because I don't want people distracted, wasting time, um, being in toxic environments, toxic relationships backsliding to their past because God desires the best for you. He gave you the desires of your heart and he wants to fulfill that, but you have to trust that he is good enough and faithful enough to do so. All right. So I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time on my channel, do not forget to subscribe until next time. Bye.